Hey everyone, welcome back to The Rocketeer. This is my first attempt at making a sugar smoky motor. A friend of mine asked me if it was possible and I told him, I don't know, but I'm willing to give it a try. So this is a sorbitol motor, it has three grains in it. I put 10% zinc in it. Now zinc is often used in uh, commercial motors, APCP motors. The chemistry is different, so I don't know if it'll work or not, but I thought it was worth a try. So the motor will either make a at least a gray smoke or the zinc will burn completely and I'll maybe get some more thrust out of it. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So now it's time to take it out on the stand and see what kind of performance we get out of it. Going in five, four, three, two, one. As you can see, there's plenty of smoke. It's just that it's not gray or black. However, I was hoping for something more like this. One. Okay, so maybe that was a little over optimistic. However, one thing I did get was a boost in performance. So I'm going to put a slide up on the screen there for you to check out. And the top one is sorbitol and the bottom one, as you can see, is sorbitol with 10% zinc. This is a typical profile, thrust curve profile for a sugar motor. But as you can see there, they look fairly close. But as we look at the data, we can see that there is a boost in performance on the zinc powered motor. So let's check that out. The total impulse for this sorbitol motor was 43.23, as you can see on your screen. And the total impulse for the zinc powered motor was 51 and a half. So there was definitely a boost there in performance. The burn time was similar with the uh, zinc motor being slightly shorter, but the thrust was up for this motor as well. Now that was a little bit of a surprise to me. I didn't know if the zinc was going to burn in the fuel or how efficiently it would burn. Let's take a look at the nozzle. As you can see here, there's not a whole lot of residue. So the motor did burn fairly clean. And I also used a smaller nozzle than what I usually use for the Super G motor is a 15, number 15 nozzle. And for the zinc sorbitol motor, I used a number 12 because I thought that it might burn a little bit slower. And as it turned out, that worked out just right. So I was a little bit surprised that there was a good boost in the performance. I'm really happy it worked out that way. Now, as far as the smoke goes, um, I'm going to try something else. I could add more zinc to the fuel, but the problem with that is it starts to become difficult to cast, and I'm not sure that's the path I want to take anyways. So I have a couple more ideas. I'll get back to you on that. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you soon.